good evening everybody. Uh, welcome you all to the first tutorial by Smart Cards, the tutorial in the course CEE 311 Separation Process 1, a 300 level course by my University Kano Faculty of Engineering, Department of Chemical Engineering. Uh, before I start this tutorial, I would like every one of you to pick up his pen and paper to copy some places because it's not everything that I say that will be coming out on the report. So to our topic of discussion today is going to be absorption and stripping. Absorption and what? And stripping. I'm going to discuss the two together because uh, in the sense of understanding, it's almost the same thing in the sense of what's happening and in the sense of calculation. But in real life, it's just like one is the opposite of the other. I hope you all get me. What is absorption and stripping? Absorption and stripping. I will, I will explain everything from the diagram you are seeing. This very diagram. But before coming to the explanation, I would like to, to explain what absorption and stripping is. Uh, absorption and stripping are process are separation processes by which we separate two materials. What did I say? Two materials of different phases. And the phases are vapor and liquid. So therefore it's a VL separation. Vapor separation or gas, then a liquid. Inside a separation column. This diagram I've just drawn is our separation column will display. So absorption and stripping are a process whereby two phases, material of two phases, one of the vapor phase and the other of the liquid phase, are flowing inside a separation column concurrently so that they mix together and one of the phases receives some materials from the other phase. So what is the difference between the two? Absorption is a process whereby the vapor phase, that's the vapor phase, come in to the separation column and then it mix together with the liquid, uh, the liquid phase. Therefore, the vapor phase is the one that have the materials we need to remove. Then the liquid is washed. The liquid will wash that certain substance or certain material from the vapor phase and then the liquid will come out with that material. That means the liquid absorbs the material from the vapor. While for stripping is the opposite case, where the liquid is the one that will come with the material we need to strip. Then the vapor phase will, will wash away the contents or the, uh, the substances from the liquid and go away with that substances. That means it's uh, the vapor stripped out the contents. Vapor stripped out contents from liquid. And liquid absorbed gas uh, contents from the gas. Liquid absorb and vapor strip. So now I've explained to you what absorption and stripping is. Let's go back to the diagram from the column. You know that when we live like a vapor or gas phase normally in atmosphere without any container, without anything, what direction do you think we should follow? Uh, this is a common sense. Can you think? Will it go to the direction of up, uh, upward direction or downward direction? If it's vapor or gas, directly it's going to upward direction. You can see it from how you are cooking your food, right? But if it's a liquid, like a liquid inside a container at a, at a certain space, just remove the container. You know that definitely it's coming down because it has a lot of mass and due to uh, gravitational force and the rest. So from this diagram, you can see that the diagram have two inlets and two outlets. This one, inlet one, this one, inlet two. And this one here, outlet one, the other one here, outlet two. So where do you think our liquid will come and the vapor will come through so that they have a good mixture, so that they mix thoroughly contacontly as I mentioned, so that we have a good stripping or a good absorption. So since we know the direction of our contents, the vapor is going, uh, is, will go to the upward direction. So it's supposed to enter through the downward entrance. This one. Yeah. The vapor is, will enter through this stream and the liquid will enter through this stream. As they are coming in, as they are coming in, they will mix truly together so that you will have good mixture by, in which one content will receive the other. For example, if it's absorption, so that the liquid content will receive 
all the, all the needed quantum, so the percentage absorption will absorb it from the gas and it will come through this phase, right? The LB. And if it's stripping, it's the same thing. The inlet of the gas will be the bottom stream, bottom stream, but the inlet of the liquid will be the top stream. The outlet of the gas is going to be the top stream. The outlet of the liquid is going to be the bottom stream. I hope you all get me. So what are these uh, notations we are seeing? This notation, LAXA, that means for the uh, upward inlet, the inlet at the top stream is where our liquid is coming. That's why we, notate, we have the notation of the uh, mass flow as LA. While XA is the mass fraction of our content, that content needed to be absorbed or stripped, just needed to be removed from the other. XA is the content, the mass fraction of that content in our LA phase. XB is the uh, mass fraction of the material we are needing in the uh, bottom stream of the liquid. Then YB2 is the mass fraction of our VB. YA is the mass fraction of that content in VA. So you can see that they are opposite, right? LA is the inlet of the liquid, but VB is the inlet of the Look, uh, of the vapor. B is for inlet if it's vapor. A is for inlet if it's liquid. So, and you can see these drawings notated by plate 1. That means the number of plates. It will be plate 1, 2, 3, out to the plate N. That's the number of plates inside our column. I think you all get this explanation of what is happening. A real stripping and uh, absorption. So, coming back to LAXA, VBYB. XA is the mass fraction, as I mentioned earlier, is the mass fraction of the content we are uh, taking our study on. Maybe you can take it as a system if you don't forget your thermodynamics, system surrounding and boundary. So only what we are looking for, what we are focusing on is the system. So XA is our system in L liquid phase, so YB will not be the mass fraction of the other uh, phase or the other material. It will be that same, the mass fraction of that same material, but because it's in Y direction, that's why we will name it, because it's in Y direction, that's why we call it as Y. I mean, because it's in V4 phase, that's why we are going to call it as Y, the mass fraction. So, now I explain what stripping is what absorption is and I explain how they happens how they go in and how they mix and how they go out of the column so now how do we solve problem of uh, stripping and absorption